get you some radio. That's that appearance factor, the shiny penny syndrome. Wife gets one, you deserve one too. Why not? Come back, come see me. I, I've done some pretty wacky stuff. Uh, I put business cards in their gas tank outside the fuel door, obviously, um, saying, hope you enjoyed your first fuel on me. So the next time they gas up, they remember your name. Be the last to shake their hand because you want your face being the one they remember, not somebody else. You made the sale. You want the lasting impression. Uh, do wacky things. Send a balloon that says it's a boy to their work with a thank you card saying thank you for the business. Guess what's going to happen? Their friends are going to go over and go, I didn't know you were pregnant. Ha ha, this is my car sales guy. They'll go, my car guy didn't even follow up. Right. So talk about follow up. I have a system. You, you First day follow up. Hey, how's the relationship going with you and your car? Third day, are all promises met? Are you looked after? Seventh day, I mean, we're talking on the, the survey as well here. Hey, can you please fill out the survey? Can you please fill out this, this Google review? And if you do all this, you have them. You've already built that friend. So it's like, calling, hey, Mike, you want to go play basketball this weekend? You're calling your customer saying, hey, how's everything going? Were you happy? Were you thrilled? Were you completely satisfied if you weren't? And just staying. And then, you know, breaking it out to the point after seven days, you do 45-day follow-up with a, a phone call and every 90 day with a written letter or a, if you make a, a catalog or something that you can mail out to them saying, hey, I still remember you. Thanks for the biz. 